1986 420 SEL black true mileage unknown the speedometer odometer stopped working right after I got it at a hundred and thirty ish thousand miles uh, meaning it probably wasn't registering correctly before then so you know take a guess 140 ish uh, bought the car in 2019 and had high hopes of doing a restoration project then COVID lockdown kicked in and all of the assembled parts along with this car have sat uh, since then um, previous owner told me that the paint was in not great shape when he purchased it and had it professionally treated to make it look pretty good it looked nice when I got it. Looks pretty good right now. Um, it did not look so great a month ago because it has been sitting, as I've said, for about three years. However, cleaned it off. Need to sell it. Have too many of these things. And after doing so, saw it responded pretty well. So today, in preparation for selling the car, I went over the top surfaces with some Meguiar's Ultimate Compound um, just to get the worst spots and then just gave it a quick coat of wax and even though I said I wasn't going to do it I couldn't help myself and blacked out the tires a little bit. Uh, there is nothing about this car, this paint I should say, I'm not going to edit this, that will not be total, that will not require Hey, <laughs> trying to sell the car, making a walk around video. <laughs> um, the car needs a paint job. Uh, but it could look better than it does right now without a paint job. There are certain things that will have to be fixed at some point. Um, like I said, it sat for a long time, had a lot of crap on it. Um, when I washed it today, I used one of those clay mitts to bring out some of the crud, and it looked pretty good. I drove it the other day uh, after just a quick wash, and it still gets attention. Um, wheels are cheap BBS knockoffs, not something I would have imagined picking, but the car does great conversations, friendly conversations. Um, the uh, what else the car was lowered by someone in the past uh, my mechanic couldn't tell what the springs or the what exactly had been done but he drove the car and said whoever did it did it right I think it has a nice stance I don't like slam cars but I think they do sit a little high I'll be doing something similar to that red car um, so what else there has been a lot of mechanical work done to this car in the past two ownerships prior to me. Um, steering box rebuilt, timing chain, guides, tensioner. Um, suspension feels great. The car runs great despite having sat for all this time. I put a new battery in it the other day. Um, fresh tank of gas. It's pretty good. It idles too high. I'm still trying to figure out what that is. The Control valve, out of control valve, seems like it's fine. So it might be the, whatever the box is, the controls are, it could be a vacuum lead. It's not bad, about 1100 RPMs. 1100 RPM. Um, so I've been describing this and I will add more. I don't have a list of things that were done to it. Air conditioner, uh, compressor, it's been converted. Um, you know. Think, like, think. So, previous owner, it's kind of falling apart. As you get closer, you can see some of the things that are definitely not great. The bumper needs attention. Uh, for some reason, it really doesn't show up from more than a few feet away, or you don't notice it at least. I removed the head uh, headlight wipers because they were in pretty bad shape. I do still have them if the next owner wants them. Um, Personally, on this red car, I'm going to have the holes filled in and paint and body color, but this is just final wrap. I did just to see what it looks like. Uh, chrome on the bumpers was not in great shape. The black vinyl that I put on these was an experiment. Um, doesn't look bad, 
um, but I like the chrome better. I'm not a chrome person, but on these cars it works. Um, if I were doing it, I'd get a new set of bumpers, uh, chrome pieces for it. The guards themselves are fine. The covers, they just need to be painted. Um, you can see some of these things might not come up on the video. I won't be able to tell if they show up or not until I get inside. I'll be taking pictures of this as well right now. Um, looks, I think it shows up. The clear coat is coming off badly in this one place. There's some spots around the car where you can see it. When it's bumped up, it's not so bad, um, but it is there. Mirrors, I did uh, gloss black vinyl wrap to match the car. I don't understand why everybody doesn't do that. Um, I thought the door handles looked a little gray compared to the black, so I wrapped those in a satin black. Once again, I think these are Alcor wheels, something like that. They look pretty good. Um, these are 18s. They do rub a little if you take a hard corner going into a turn up front. Um, hard corner into a turn. I mean, if you're hitting a bump and turning, uh, they can rub. So you either want to take the tire down a little bit or possibly the fenders could be rolled. This is never going to be a show car, so, you know have options that won't offend anybody too badly. Um, chrome isn't horrible. Now that I've seen a few of these, um, it's worn out in the places you expect to see it worn out on a car that's been not attended to properly for a period of time before somebody or several people try to bring it back. Tail lights are good, a little cloudy. Um, tent all around. I'm normally not a tent person, but on this car, looks really good um, I will take some pictures of the right side of the car the passenger side to show what it looks like unfortunately even though all the guides uh, there's never been any problem with any of the windows until two days ago where the driver's side went down without a problem and won't come back up it's not off the rails it's not the switch I tried swapping one out uh, it happened once before, and when I slammed the door shut, it started breaking again, so it could be the motor, could be just the contact. I'm going to try to take care of it before I seriously start trying to sell the car. But, anyway, there's that. Uh, sunroof was iffy when I got it, barely working. It would open and close with assistance. Um, now, it doesn't seem to want to do anything, it doesn't make any noise. I think the motor may be bad. Um, if that's, uh, that is something that's important to me. A lot of people don't care. I haven't really been paying attention to the video. So now I'm going to go in closer to the problems. So, once again, vinyl wrap doesn't look terrible up here. Um, it looked better when I first put it on. Um, someone blacked out the area of the grill behind the chrome, which I think is a very good thing to do, but it's starting to come apart. It needs to be redone. If you're going to do it that way or get a whole new grill, chrome's not bad, it's not great. Uh, these wheels, if you like them, they can be cleaned. Did a little bit the other day. Mirrors work fine. Um, the interior we'll talk about in a few. Uh, what else? Said so there will be pictures. The underside of the car, which I'm not going to show in this, I'm going to take pictures of, uh, is good. It's quite good, actually. Uh, this is the worst area on the car. The one needs needs addressing. It was a bit of rust when it uh, when I got it three years ago. It's obviously expanding. Only fix for this would be to cut out a piece and weld it in, which isn't huge, but you know needs to be done. Other issues. Uh, spoke with the previous owner about this. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Um, maybe a bad. I mean, this car. This is not the original paint. Um, I don't know, but anyway, there's this uh, car is generally pretty straight. The doors all have a nice sound to them. Door handle chrome looks pretty good. Say above average for these. The anodized trim I would say is definitely above average. Which, if you've dealt with these cars, you know that's probably the hardest thing to make perfect. Um, what else? Uh, so, that's really the 
the bats, like I said, it could look a lot better. I'm really, I've been really surprised by how nicely it bobbed out. There's, you know, sat for a long time. It's pretty good. Anyway, on to the interior. I have a lot of parts that I put together because I love the Palomino interiors. Back seat looks good. Uh, springs are a little bit soft. I have the uh, this in another color from a from the revised interior that I think is supposed to be a little bit better that I would sell along with this. I'll give all the parts that I have, which I'll have pictures of when I go to sell the car. Um, they the the person that purchases the car will have first dibs at them, and I have some nice stuff. The seats. The interior of the car is still a nice place to be, but these things are shot. It's not just that these obviously were brought back from pretty close to the dead. I mean, they're soft, but they've got not a lot of padding. Um, even though it looks like they've got some bolstering on them, they really don't. The springs are shot on these. Um, I didn't make any attempt to clean the interior of the car, by the way. Just FYI. Uh, I have in my possession a set of original Palomino seats that are, I won't say mint, but they're in the kind of condition you only see on a $20,000 car, uh, 20,000 mile car normally. Um, those I will give first dibs on to the purchaser of this car. Uh, stereo is not included unless the person wants to pay me the full MSRP because I'm going to be transferring it over. Um, I picked it because it doesn't really take away from the looks too badly when, when it's closed and gives you some functionality when it's open. Um, didn't change anything else. I've got a little sub, a little JL wedge in the back. Take some pictures of the engine. Uh, but anyway, I've got seat covers, I have all sorts of body parts, which I will be itemizing, um, interior parts, um, to sell with the car. Um, but I don't want to make this last forever. You see it starts up, you see the high idle, it'll settle down until 1100 after a while. I'm going to do a driving video uh, to show the mechanics on the car, mechanicals on the car. And the engine compartment. Oops, which is not that. Uh, needs a quick cleaning. Uh, and I did adjust the hood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this separately. You can see there's still some problems. I didn't do a very good job here wiping it off, but you know, doesn't look bad. Um, hood needs further adjustment. Sit your ass on it. It does line up pretty well. Uh, anyway, I think this is a pretty good overview of the car with all its pluses and faults. Here's the sunroof. There is a new seal. Uh, despite being non-functional at the moment, there are no leaks. Uh, the trunk, I think I'm it needs a new seal. There's a little bit of water that comes in when it's really, really heavy rain. This kind of makes it look worse than it is. Um, I'll take some pictures of this just to show that it's not anything too serious. I believe I have a seal I can include with this free um, from a donor car. So that's it. Said pretty solid car, nice lines, pretty straight, and even without doing anything to it, it's a looker, I think. Purists may disagree. Uh, that's it. Bye.